Hey, hey everybody, welcome back to another pet battle video. For this one, we're going to be doing a pet spotlight on the lovely duckling. Top into this first game here versus this all darkness team. Going straight for the darkness. Hopefully I don't miss. Thank you. And then I will just go ahead and go for a ghostly bite. Just in case if you didn't go directly for surge of light. Ooh, I guess he uh, predicted the switch there. All right, I will just pass my turn here. Go for my rain dance. All right, I will go for my acid rain. I still have about a 40 50 percent hit chance something like that i'll find out here in just a second oh a 50 okay not too bad i still uh hit a couple of them with that acid rain and i have a 50 percent hit chance with this steam vent hopefully i get it beautiful beautiful nightshade is out of the way All right, he's probably going to go straight for darkness. There it is. Just as I anticipated. Now to go for a ghostly bite and hopefully uh, don't miss because that would really suck. He might soak the damage on Twilight. Okay, he did not. Now he is below his racial. Now I can go for my rain dance right here. Hopefully he doesn't land that. Okay. All right, so I'm kind of banking on a uh, either an egg barrage here or a crit with my water jet. Um, I will... I guess I'll go for Egg Barrage. Yeah, let's do it. Hopefully uh, it kills. Oh, thank goodness. I had increased hit chance and, and increased uh, crit chance as well. All right, and I think I actually got it there. Thank goodness. 20 health to spare, too. Wow, that was quite the battle there. I got a little silent at the end there because I was kind of holding my breath there, hoping that that Call Darkness wasn't going to do enough damage to kill. Wow. Always great to give that guy a loss right there. Okay, let us go ahead and I guess move on to this team here. Oh, wow. Such a close match with that. Thank goodness that Egg Barrage pulled off the owl. And also, I think the biggest reason why I won that probably was uh, that 50% hit chance with uh, the blinding poison on Jade Mist Dancer. That really saved my butt there. Digging out that Nightshade. And I do see that player quite a bit, so always great to give him an L wherever I can because he likes to play with that team a lot as well as a couple of other really strong teams all right and just the same old player lovely love every minute of this okay Well, I think I lose. Just gonna say that right now. I think I lose. <laughs> okay. 
I'll just go ahead and... Oh, okay. He's gonna do that. Alright, go ahead and throw up this wild magic here. I'm anticipating he might switch it to the bird. There it is. And I figured he'd do that. Go ahead and go for the sticky grenade here, as well as a minefield. Oh, if I could get him to miss, like, a really hard-hitting move, like, all darkness, that would be fantastic. Okay. Alright, those immolation ticks are really helping me right now. Alright, there goes Stick a Grenade. Crit, I don't think was necessary, but I'll take it. He's obviously going to go into Nightshade Sproutling. Of course. And I won't survive, but I guess I'll just go for this for the off chance that he, uh, you know, passed his turn or something. He wanted a mist, obviously. Okay. I will go for... Hmm. I'll go for a water jet first. Yep, I kind of figured he would do that. Okay, so wild magic... I'll go for that because it's probably going to be my best bet of any sort of chance of winning. Um, I would really have to hope that he misses here with a bunch of these moves. Otherwise, it is definitely game over for me. Alright, and as long as he lands that, it is game over. And a crit to rub insult injury. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh, the joys of queuing for pet battles while Critter Event is over. All right. Well, until we inevitably go up against that guy again, let's talk a little bit about the lovely duckling here. I do really like this pet. I love the model here and the cool little animations that it does. Uh, only one breed available to it, that being the SS, which is perfectly fine with me. Now, it is the new pet with this year's Noble Garden event. Uh, if you'd like to get it from the vendor, it is 250 of those little chocolate eggs. However, you can uh, purchase it off the auction house, which is what I did. And uh, looks like we've got this guy again. All right, well, I barely won last time, so let's see how that goes. <laughs> and of course, he... He knew what I was going for. Okay. Alright, let's go for this pump. Haven't got a chance to use pump yet. Okay, who's gonna take this damage? Alright, well, it barely did not knock him below his racial. That's quite unfortunate, but still was a lot of damage. Okay, please miss your Nocturnal Strike. Thank you. I'll take that. Okay, so no more racial for you. That's fantastic. He goes into Twilight. Ooh, I thought about switching out into the Blight Hawk, but he'll just stun it. I guess I'll just go ahead and go for my Rain Dance here.
Right, so I still have that up. I could try for an egg barrage. It has the potential to kill. I know this will not kill if it crits. I'll go for an egg barrage. Ah, uh, well, I missed a couple of them. That's unfortunate. Okay. Well, he will kill me with pounce if he decides to go for that. Go ahead and just go into Blighthawk here. Okay, he missed. Good. I'll just go ahead and throw out Cyclone here for the off chance that I get some backline damage on those pets. Alright, and go ahead and take him out. Alright, well my chances now are Pretty much zero, I'd imagine, unless if I just get really lucky. Okay, well, he'd have to go for that. How do people not get bored playing the same overpowered team over and over again? I just never understand it. Like, of all these three pets, Nightshade is definitely one of my favorites, especially when it comes to elementals. Uh, but I cannot imagine just playing this team as well as the whole Indigo team and, you know, the Night Captain Murky over and over and over again. Like, you gotta, you gotta switch it up every now and again. That's just boring. Like, how can you find enjoyment in that? You know what I mean? Ugh. Whatever makes him feel good about himself, I guess. Him and his pathetic... Pathetic uh, life, I guess. Because you gotta be pretty miserable to keep queuing up with a team like that. Or this team, for that matter. Holy crap. Okay, well, I might be able to actually beat this. I just have to burst him down with AoE damage. Or he does the same to me. This isn't the first time I've gone against Triple Anomalous. Imagine he's running Void Nova instead of uh, Toxic Fumes. Alright, really good that Cyclone is getting some uh, hits there before I even get the Rain Dance up. Good, good, good. Oh, okay. He's not running uh, the double AoE. I've seen a triple Anomalous team before where it was. Okay, that's fine. I will go for Acid Rain because it's a pretty good counter for all this dot AoE. Because this will only last, I think, just a singular turn. Yep, there it is. All right, and let's go for a steam vent. Not gonna die right here, but hey, it's still pretty good damage. Okay, should I go into the lovely duckling, take advantage of the weather, or just go into blight hawk to have the best chance of bursting him down? I think I'll just go for the blight hawk. And uh, spam Infected Claw until my Undead Racial. To which I will go for a Ghostly Bite. Did he just pass his turn? Okay, maybe he thinks that he's just going to lose. Oh, okay. What in the world are you doing? Are you, like, throwing the match? I, you know, I don't think he really had a chance to win at this point. But still, he definitely should have gave it his all. Especially since he's playing such a brain-dead, worthless team, such as Triple Anomalous. Like, oh my god. I don't know, it's worse, this team or the Darkness team I was facing. And at this point, he's just being a butt-hurt little child, letting the turn timer run down to waste my time as much as possible. But that's okay, because I got the W right there.
Thank you. Okay, I guess I will try and queue up one more time. Should I go with this team? I do really like this team. See if I can't get one good match in. If I go against the darkness time, uh, darkness time, if I go against the darkness team, uh, it will be time to uh, forfeit. <laughs> That's what I should have said. Oh, darkness time. Oh, lovely duckling. You sure do look lovely, don't you? That nice little pink there. But, uh, yeah, when I... When the lovely duckling first came out, I saw ridiculous prices on the auction house, like 500,000 gold, you know, just absolutely insane amounts. It was absolutely absurd, which people often do whenever there's a new pet introduced. But of course, as I anticipated, I just waited a few days and then the prices really dropped. So the one that I purchased, I think was like 17, 18 K, which is not bad, not bad at all. And then I just leveled, leveled it up immediately. So, pretty good stuff. Not a half bad pet. Definitely a really fun one for sure. Uh, Surge on a fast pet. I just prefer the water jet. I do really like his egg barrage and wild magic choice here. Uh, egg barrage seemed to fit more better on this cyclone team and then wild magic for things like emulation so pretty good also you could pair that up with flock too so that wouldn't be half bad but uh pump is pretty pretty damn good i do really like pump 10 percent extra damage so that could go quite nice with uh egg barrage pretty cool stuff but yeah 250 of those chocolate eggs now you technically can get that done in a single day you're just going to be there for quite a while picking up eggs or you can i guess on multiple characters if you want you could get a whole bunch of lovely ducklings and slap them on the auction house because noble garden i think ends after today if i'm not mistaken uh does it noble garden wait oh it ends on monday okay i was mistaken the reason why i thought that it might have ended today is because there are some uh quests in a traveler's log that end after today that have to do with the noble garden i'm also definitely looking forward to trying out aura which is the battle pet reward for this month in the traveler's log the pretty cool looking duck it is actually a magic type i totally thought it was going to be aquatic just like the lovely duckling here but nope they decided to go with magic i guess that's somewhat makes sense because it is a wizard duck but oh oh no this is one of my teams oh man but he's not playing with the ss breed uh Owl wing buzzer, but the power balance does have some extra extra oomph to it. Ooh, okay, let's see how this goes. I'll start out with the Fiendish Imp, just in case, the off chance of that. Now he's definitely going to swap me out, and this will bring in the lowest health pet. That would be the lovely duckling, so it doesn't matter if I you know, predict a swap or not, it's going to bring me into the lovely duckling no matter what. Okay, let's go back into the Fiendish Imp. Perfect. Go ahead and switch that out immediately. Oh, he's going to try and fight me. Oh, he's going to go for another uh, Great Sting or Wing Buff Buffet. Yeah, I almost said Buffet, but somebody had corrected me about that, so thank you. I don't know why I was pronouncing it as Buffet, you know, like a restaurant, but it is pronounced Buffet. So, good stuff there. So, I can go ahead and switch into, I guess, Mini Thor. 
Not sure if he's going to go for the switch. He did. Okay. Go ahead and go for this right here. It will take him below his racial. Okay. So he will take me out here because I believe damage goes before the humanoid racial. So I will go into the lovely duckling. Oh, he switched into an almost anyway. Oh, Fiendish Imp is barely alive. Okay, Mini Thor, here we go. Right, Fiendish Imp will probably... Yeah, he's most definitely going to die right here, actually. No, finish him. All right, are you going to let that die or bring in Jingles by some odd chance? Oh, he's going to let that die. Okay. Well, I, there's just no way I could take out Jingles from here. Okay, he didn't go for Booby Trap Presents. Even if this crits, there's just no way. I mean, he is faster than me by four points. And there goes the Gift of the Winter Veil. Vale. Yep, yep. Now you all can definitely understand why I usually don't play a whole lot of games outside of Critter Week. Because I usually get matched up against people like that. Especially people copying my teams. Because that is a, a team that I did a whole video on, by the way if you want to go check that out i think i t had it titled like my best poison team in pvp pet battles and it is very good for that exact reason even though he wasn't using the ss breed bow wing buzzer that i do still did very well but yeah i think that's going to do it for this one had a whole bunch of fun with the lovely duckling here so if you're interested definitely pick it up before it's too late because noble garden will only be around for a few more days uh, once again, 250 of those little chocolate eggs if you are interested. Or you can purchase it off the auction house like I did. And really did not cost a whole lot. So I would definitely hop on it now while you can if you are interested. That's going to do it for this one. Thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, have a nice day.